Ethnic Armenian forces in the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region have reached a ceasefire agreement with Azerbaijan this morning. This comes a day after Azerbaijan launched a military operation in the region. At least 27 people have died and over 200 others have been injured in the fighting, according to local human rights officials. The region, which is situated between Armenia and Azerbaijan, is internationally recognized as Azerbaijanian territory. But part of the region is run by ethnic Armenian authorities. So Charlie Daggett is following this story from London and is going to help us understand. I tried to speak very slowly because, you know, Charlie, this is a dispute that has been going on for decades. But I think outside of the region, many people may not know very much about it. Yeah, well, okay, so let's start with how the ceasefire is med uh, mediated. Mm -hmm. uh, President Putin, Russian President Putin, you know him, said he's hopeful for a peaceful resolution moments ago. So it was mediated by Russian peacekeeping uh, contingent that's been based there uh, since the last major flare-up, which is in 2020. So ethnic Armenian separatists said today that they're laying down their arms, and that's roughly 24 hours after Azerbaijan uh, launched its offensive against the enclave. As you said, it killed dozens of people and injured uh, hundreds more. According to the agreement, it includes uh, an agreement to disband its military, uh, including removing all the heavy hardware and weapons from its territory. That's word for word, which would be a major submission. Um, Azerbaijan is also demanding that the local government uh, be dissolved and a full reintegration take place. You saw that map. It's essentially surrounded by Azerbaijan. Yeah. Uh, it's already internationally recognized as part of that country, but as you said, home to tens of thousands of ethnic Armenians. All right. So if you could do sort of the 30 second version of the history of how it got how we got to this point, because when you look at the map, uh, it, it definitely, there's a lot of questions that come up. How did this area become a disputed area? Okay, I can't do 30 seconds. Can't, I'll okay. try. <laughs> <laughs> so the history of the region goes back hundreds of years. But late last century, we're talking like the uh, late 80s, early 90s, uh, saw fighting between the two sides that resulted in the deaths of like 30,000 people. That was after the fall of the Soviet Union. So before that, under the Soviet Union, um, under the Soviet Empire, uh, both Armenia and Azerbaijan and that territory were autonomous regions. Um, there were further skirmishes back in 2020. Um, recently, and this is what's happened, this is what's caused it all, uh, Azerbaijan has choked off the enclave, um, controlling the roads that are in and out, uh, amid accusations from the United States of causing a rapidly deteriorating humanitarian situation. Mm. Now, complicating things even further, the Armenian community is largely Christian, the Azerbaijan, uh, largely Turkish Muslim. So Russia, Turkey, the U.S., even the Pope weighed in today. They all have a vested interest in what's unfolding there. Um, and so beyond the ceasefire, are there any plans for sort of more longer term peace? Well, so Azerbaijan accused Armenian forces of killing a number of its troops in recent weeks, and, and they say that's what sparked off this latest uh, amount of fighting. Um, again, it has tightened that grip on that corridor, and it's really important. There are 1,900 uh, Russian peacekeepers who haven't been able to keep the peace. There's a, there's a sense that the, Russia is distracted by the war in Ukraine and, and that its local presence there has been weakened. Um, but even though there have been sporadic clashes in the last three years, this is beyond. This is the most major offensive that area has seen for a number of years. And the real concern now is whether Azerbaijan is now determined to force ethnic Armenians out of the area. Armenia has already accused them of ethnic cleansing yesterday. Uh, if it does escalate to a full-blown war, it, it's not going to be pretty because, as you saw in that map, the entire region is surrounded by Azerbaijan. They've got no uh, match for the weapons meaning that any defense of that territory would call for international intervention, starting with Russia. I should also mm. point out that U.S. troops have been engaged with Armenia uh, holding joint exercises there. So all we can do is hope that that ceasefire holds. Indeed. Uh, Charlie, thank you. Thank you.